Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. We have traveled to Chicagoland for the Chicagoland 80. This is going to be race number 10 in the More Freedom Series Season 4. And the points have shaken up after last week's race, so let's go through your current top 10. Your points leader is the 20 of Adam B5000. Second will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Third will be the 49 of Jetman. Fourth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Fifth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Sixth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Seventh will be the 88 of NM. Eighth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Ninth will be the double zero of Mudbone. And rounding out your top 10 will be the eight of Moon Bunny. So that's a look at your current top 10. Let's check in on those team and chassis standings. Team points look like this. MBR in first. Second place, Douche Motorsports. Third will be Aces to Z Motorsports. Fourth will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. And rounding out the top five will be the Amish Buggy Racing. Chassis standings are Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all your things points-wise here for the Chicagoland 80. They are currently in the happy hour. They're getting these cars dialed in, ready to go for the race. And I think it's about time, so let's go racing. Let's go through your starting top 10 for the Chicagoland 80. Starting on the pole will be the 799 of Mike Chick, and on his outside, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Starting, starting third will be the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum, and on his outside, the 777 of Seabass. Starting fifth will be the 666 of Pistol Pete, and on his outside, the 34 of Super Snake. Starting 11, or seventh will be the 211 of Hogs, and on his outside, the 51 of AJM. Starting ninth will be the 49 of Jetman, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 96 of Nico. So let's look at your starting top 10 today for the Chicagoland 80. Mike Check, who has had a fantastic last, fantastic last couple of weeks, is starting on the pole today. So he is looking for win number two here this season and to continue his rise through the standings here in the more freedom series ice cream some days had a rough go this so far this year she is looking to build start a building process back into being getting back into the top 10 or winning in stuff so mike checks leading us down to take the green flag here today ice cream on his outside frederick right behind him waiting for that green flag it is out and we are underway Frederick wasted no time getting down to the inside of the 799 of Mike Check. He is trying to lead lap number one here at Chicagoland as Hogs jumps down to the inside of the triple six. That 666 of Pistol Pete making it four wide into turn three and four, almost four wide as that triple seven of Seabass shoving his nose in there to make it four wide with those other three cars. Drag race to the start finish line between the, two, the 799 and the 544. Mike check on the outside, Frederick down to the inside. Frederick not doesn't quite have what it takes to get around that 799 of Mike check. On the outside is at 356. She's going to have that draft help by the 777 of Seabass. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top as Mike check continues his lead here as the 356 of Ice Cream some days thinking about getting down to the inside. Mike able to pull it down to the bottom of the track as the triple seven to seat pass there in the second position. The 544 falling back to fourth. Here comes that 34 of Super Snake trying to get underneath that 544. So the high line here is kind of the preferred line through these turns. So they're going to need a little bit of draft help to get around somebody else here today as we see a battle for the lead right now with the 356 of Ice Cream some days down to the inside of the 799 of Mike Check up top it is that 777 of Seabass so the high line work in here today at Chicagoland as the 356 going to lose that position to the 777 as the 51 of AJM on the outside of that 34 of Super Snake so AJM with a great run Able to get around the 34 of Super Snake, stacked up behind him is the 96 of Nico, the 666, the 203 of Signs, 211 on the outside, and that 660 of Garrett Miller. 
Amish Buggy Racing looks like they came to play today as they have several drivers right now in the top 10. As I see the triple seven, the 34, the 660, the 666, and the double zero. That might be all their drivers here today, almost in the top 10. As the triple seven of Seabass jumps it down to the inside, Mike Check just able to keep that high line rolling as he is able to keep his momentum down the back stretch here in front of that triple seven of Seabass. So this is going to be a long road to hoe for anybody trying to make passes on the inside here today. As that high line just, they don't have to break as much and it's just kind of a preferred line. You know, staying down to the bottom is fine through the turns, especially if there's nobody on the outside of you. As we see that 51 of AJM staying with the 356 of Ice Cream some days, able to pull around the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. So just keeping her going through the turn. There's the 51. He is staying up into that little bit of that high line right there. As we're working lap number seven here today, 51 down, way down to the inside. Not sure what he was thinking there as he jumped way, way down inside. That 544 Frederick Winkelbaum had to pull it up to the outside as the 660 of Garrett Miller trying to get down to his inside. Neither one of those two drivers going to have the draft help from behind that they're going to need as the 51 of AJM sliding back in behind the 544 of Frederick Winkelbaum. So Winkle trying to get down to the inside of the 356 of Ice Cream some days. Winklevom has had a better season that he's had over the last two years as he's currently running 14th of points. The 544 down to the inside, that 51 staying on the outside. Here comes the 34 of Super Snake, a double zero Mudbone way up high through the turn. We'll see if he gets a good run off the turn to catch up to the back end of that 51 of AJM. AJM with a great run to the back bumper of that 356 of Ice Cream some days. So AJM trying to make it down to the inside, trying to make it stick through the turn. He's going to get a little bit of draft off the 777 and the 799, but they're going to peel back up through the back stretch. That's going to allow the double zero of Mudbone to get to his outside. That 356 down to the bottom of the track. Here comes that 51 and the 544 trying to stack up to the bottom underneath that double zero of Mudbone. We're going to see if that, that helps him at all as the double zero Mudbone able to make the pass on the outside of the 51 of AJM. Mudbone down to the inside. As we have an incident back here with two of the Amish buggy racing cars, we're going to have a caution. It looks like preliminary results are the 34 of Super Snake and the 660 of Garrett Miller into the outside wall there. So we'll have to see what's Happened on that caution as we watch Mike Check take the yellow flag here at Chicagoland on lap number 11. Current fastest lap going to be by the 51 of AJM at 188 miles per hour or 28.715 seconds. So we're going to see what brought out that car. We're going to watch them come into the pits. We're going to see what they do here and uh, figure out if it's going to be a four-tire stop. It's going to be a two-tire stop for all these drivers currently running lap number 12 of 54. So we're not going to have 54 laps of green flag action, but we do have an early caution here on lap number 12. I guess not that early, but still working lap number 12. We're going to see if anybody stays out. Or if everybody comes in here, looks like everybody is coming in to these pits as we see the 660 and the 34 on pit road, watching that double zero duck in right there. All the way down to this pit stall comes that 799 of Mike Check into his pits. Looks like they got right side tires going on the 799 for the drop air racing team. Looks like it's going to be a four tire stop for your leader, the 799 of Mike Check. Left side's going on, fuel going in, the double zero Mudbone racing down pit road. Here comes the 51, this triple seven, all out. So that 356 of Ice Cream Someday is still in the pits. She came in in the third position, but she's holding right now in the pits, not quite sure 
what's going on. But while we wait to find out what happened to the 356, see where she comes out, let's check out what brought out that caution. Well, this caution is going to be brought out by contact between the 660 and the 34. The 660 just had an has an absolute heck of a run on the on the back of the 34 and the 33. So let's see what happens here. So you saw that contact between the 34 and the 660. That's going to put them both out of this race here today. Uh, notables, the triple, the 666, after that pit stop, fall all, fell all the way back to 31st. Ice Cream Some Days falls back to 16th. So not great pit stops for those drivers here today. Uh, let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is still the 799 of Mike Check. Second's going to be the 777 of Seabass. Third will be the 00 Mudbone. Fourth will be the 51 of AJM. Fifth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Sixth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Seventh will be the 49 of Jetman. Eighth will be the 203 of Signs. Ninth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 95 of Zed Brenna. So Zed squeaking his way into the top 10 right there right now. Zed having started, let's see where Zed started at on the day. 26th on the day for the 95 of Zed Brunna up to the 10th position right now. So great pit stop, great driving for that 95 of Zed Brunna. Checking in on some other, I think we got one to go here. As we should see a double file restart in just a second as they head down the back stretch. We're going to see if Mike Check takes the inside or outside lane here today. As he has led every single lap here at Chicagoland, that 777 of Seabass looking to change, turn his season around and uh, get a win here in the more freedom series and it's Seabass is currently running 29th in points so definitely wants to turn his season around and move up in the points and just getting a win help could help catapult him into a better position as we see that beautiful orange and black dodge challenger pace car peel off the track mike check in Seabass leading us down take the green flag there it is and we are underway Down into turn one, that high line I think might be, I think in the, they should have taken the uh, high line here as we watch that three wide battle in the back. The 777 of Seabass on the outside. Mike Check trying to drag race down the back stretch with help by the double zero and the 33. Seabass getting help by the 51 of AJM and that 544 of Frederick Winklevom as there's like four wide in the back of the pack right now. That triple seven able to pull out to the lead on the outside as we still have three wide battles right now going on in the back of the pack. A three wide right now for the third position between the 799, the double zero, and the 544. Frederick on the outside, he's getting around that triple, the 799 of Mike Check with help by the 203 of Signs. Down into three and four they go. Signs on the outside. Harvey coming into the outside of the double zero of Mudbone as we head towards the stripe. And J or AJM. One of those 2588s is trying to take over the lead from the 777 to Seabass. The 544 heads down to the bottom of the track as we still see three wide battles all around going on right now. Just able to keep that momentum is the outside line as the 203 might get a good run here on the 51 of AJM as the 544 pushes him high through the turn. Dropping down to the bottom, we do see that 203 of Signs able to get a good run on the outside with help by that 544 as he, the, as Frederick pushed him high. Signs, who again just has had, I'm, I'm going to knock on wood. As we do have a caution right now on the track, we're going to race back to the caution as the 203 down to the inside of the 777 of Seabass. I don't know if that was for the caution or I think we're racing back to it right now. So Seabass. Out to the lead right now. The 203 of Sign is going to take over second position here. Not sure what brought out that caution. I'm sure we'll see in just a moment, but 
We're going to watch them catch up to the end of this pace car and see if anybody elects to jump into pit road. All the way down at the bottom of the track is the triple seven. So it looks like he might be coming into the pits here. We're going to see. Now it looks like he's staying out. So let's see what brought out that caution here today. Well, this caution is going to be brought out by contact between the 420 of Queen of Hearts and the 10 of Scooter. Looks like Scooter is going to have a good run on the 23 of Folder than you and then slide up through the turn and really just get into the left front of that 420. Let's watch this happen. And the 420 lets him know that she's there. So both the 420 and the 10, both on pit road right now. Oh, I'm looking, I am seeing now that they have pushed the 10 of Scooter behind the wall. So right side tires right now on that 420. We're going to see if she comes back out. Looks like she is coming back out here today. So tough break for that 420 at Queen of Hearts. That's going to put her a couple laps, uh, at least one lap down here. Actually, she might get out ahead of them. Lots of damage, though, on that 420 at Queen of Hearts as she is running around this track. So she is on the lead lap with a lot of damage. But, you know, hey, points are points. And, uh, you know, she's not finishing last here today. Well, let's go through your top 10 as of right now before the restart. Your leader is the 777 of Seabass. Second will be the 203 of Signs. Third will be the 51 of AJM. Fourth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fifth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Sixth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Seventh will be the 00 of Mudbone. Eighth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Ninth will be the 49 of Jetman. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 96 of Nico. So Zed falling back to 15th position during that last run. Uh, big winner so far, that three of Geek Girl Games up into the top ten. Looking to try to take over the points lead as she was, oh, I don't know about, actually she's about 80 points behind Adam B5000. Uh, Adam currently running in the 24th position, second place in points. TC's were currently running 23rd. Third place, a Jetman currently running in the ninth position, G3 running eighth. And Mike Check, oh, Vet, who is running fifth in points, currently down in 26th. So we're going to see if any of those drivers can, uh, you know, get their act together. That's falling, you know, driving in the back and get towards the front. As sixth, as seventh in points, you know, Mike Check, you know, he's, he's up there running in sixth. But NM currently running back in 29th position. So almost the last car on the lead lap. It looks like... Queen of Hearts may have pitted again as we got the one to go here at Chicago land on lap number 23, 31 laps to go. I'm guessing that triple seven of Seabass is going to have to take the inside line again. And that's going to be beneficial to that 203 of signs as I think signs will probably get the jump on him. To so see him get to uh, see him get, Side by side, double file. There we go. Sometimes words are hard. You never know. You know what I mean? So we're bringing them back to the green flag is the 777 of Seabass 203 of signs. Behind him is going to be the 544 and the 51. Back to green. Here on lap number 24. Seabass with a heck of a jump on the 203 of signs as they head down into one and two. So Seabass absolutely powering that Twix Dodge for Amish Buggy Racing out to the front. We, I mean, we saw what he did on the outside of the 799. Speaking of, 799 currently three wide with the 33 of Harvey Jones and almost a double zero of Mudbone as the 96 of NM, Nico. 
is three wide right there. The 203 of Signs is trying to take over the lead from the 777 of Seabass as the 799 of Mychek is now three, was three wide. Right there, he's on the outside of the 51. The 51's getting help from the three of Geek Girl Games. G3 with an amazing car able to push that 51 of AJM underneath the 799 of Mike Check right now. G3 trying to make it three wide right here. Triple seven of Seabass blocking for his life right now in front of the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum and the 203 of Signs. Frederick trying to get a run on the outside. Seabass comes up to block. Frederick right to his back bumper. Seabass down to the bottom. Frederick's gonna have a great run through three and four. Frederick to the outside. Frederick looking for the lead off of three and four. Back to the stripe, the 544. Frederick Winklevon pulls that, shit, that dodge for RP Racing out to the front of the field. His teammate, Harvey Jones, also at the top of the track right now. So out to the lead is the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum as the 07 of Douche Baggins works to the outside of the 777 of Seabass. Seabass on the high line. We're going to see if that is beneficial to help him get a run on the 544. It is going to help him get a run on the 544. Here comes the 51 of AJM. Frederick up with the block down into three, one and two. Frederick trying it with everything he has to keep all those cars behind him as... The 777 of Seabass, the 51 of AJM, work around that 07 of Douche Baggins. 51 in the high line right now. He's going to see if he can work to the outside of the 777 of Seabass. He's got a little bit of draft help, maybe from the 799 of Mike Check. As your leader, still that 50, 544 of Frederick Winklevom. So. DB trying to take over the second or third position, but the 51 of AJM driving to the outside of the 777 of Seabass. He's going to work to the back bumper of that 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Down the front stretch, AJM into the second position right there behind. Your leader, the 544, 544 down to the bottom. Mike Check trying to make some runs here as we see the 25 of JTM. Now into the top 10, JTM after starting 14th here today. As I see the, the uh, 420 at Queen of Hearts back into the pits as we have lots of moves on the track. The 25 of JTM sticking that car on the outside, on the outside of the 203 of Signs, sliding high through the turn. Had to get around that 777 of Seabass, trying to work to the third position is the 25 of JTM. They're going to catch up to the 420 at Queen of Hearts. We're going to see if she dips into the pits, if she stays out here. Looks like she's dipping back into the pits for more repairs. As we see the 25 at JTM, now into the third position. Here comes the 07 at Douche Baggins. He's going to make it, try to make it three wide with the 25 and the 51. He thinks better of it, slides back behind that 25. 51 on the outside, two teammates for MBR battling it out for the second position right here. As the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum just cruising along here and the number one position with about 22 laps to go. I still think we're gonna have pit stops here today for at least one more time at Chicagoland as the 25 of JTM to the outside of the 51 of AJM. So JTM putting his sonic dodge for MBR into the second position as he works to the inside of the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. So a great draft on the 544 down to the inside. Drag race to the front stretch. Here comes the 25 at JTM. He is trying his darndest to put his car into the lead here in the More Freedom Series after having a rough go last week. His car, oh, I think we we're under caution, folks. Under caution as here on lap number 34. We'll see what brought that out in just a moment. As the 25 into the second position, again, JTM's car flipped over the fence and then back in 
last week at Chicagoland as we have a little bit of bumping and grinding going on right here in the back of the pack between the triple seven, 51, the 211. This may or may not be your final stop here today as we have 20 laps to go. We'll watch that 544 of Frederick Winklebaum for RP Racing and the Geico Dodge. Don't say much about Frederick. Uh, again, he has just steadily kept himself in the top 15 this year after uh, just a horrific season last season. So Frederick looking for his first win of the year. We're going to see what they do uh, for RP Racing as it looks like left side tires going on. That Dodge for Frederick Winklevom looks like it's going to be a four-tire stop and fuel for the 544. The 25 down on the way, the 07 down on the way. 544 is down and away as he does get out before the 25. So your leader off pit road will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Let's see what brought out that caution. Well, this caution is going to be brought out by a contact between the 8 of Moon Bunny and the 13 of King of the Aces. Moon Bunny just, I don't know what's up with, uh, they just, he, she didn't have much breaks, I guess. I don't know, but what, watch what this happens. Well, as a result of that caution... The 13 to King of the Aces will be out of this race, so King out of the race. Moon Bunny currently running in the 28th position. I know she has damage on that car. Let's, you can see that damage right there as we see the 420 of Queen of Hearts pulling back up in line here. Let's go through your current top 10 with 18 laps to go here in the Chicago Land 80. Your leader is the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Second will be the 25 of JTM. Third will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Fourth will be the 51 of AJM. Fifth will be the 777 of Seabass. Sixth will be the 203 of Signs. Seventh will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Eighth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Ninth will be the 211 of Hogs. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 96 of Nico. So 18 laps to go here today. Just note that the fastest lap of the day is by the 203 of Signs at 189.085 miles per hour or 28.638 seconds. So that came after the caution or after the uh, pit stop. So we'll see if anybody make it gets a better time this time around as we got the one to go here at Chicago Land. Again, notables in the top five in points. Adam B. 5000, your points leader, currently in... Seeing where he is. He's currently running 17th. TC Roberts currently running 18th. G3 currently running 13th. Uh, Jetman currently running in the 23rd position. So rough pit stop for that 49 of Jetman. And... Mike Check currently running 8th, and NM currently running in the 25th position. So more wrecks. NM keeps moving up as Frederick and JTM leading us down to stake the green flag here again today at Chicagoland. Green flag is out, and we are back underway. We're going to see if Frederick can get a great start here like that 777 of Seabass did a little bit ago. Looks like a good start for the 07 of Douche Baggins. As JTM got pushed, that's it's four wide right now between the 51, the triple seven, the 23 of, of Fuller than you. Fuller, who started this race way back in 28th up to the top 10 right now. So AJM to the outside as Frederick takes the lead back over. Here on uh, lap number 38. So AJM to the outside of the 07 of Douche Baggins. Drag race down the back stretch. 203 assigns the mic check as the 51 trying to get desperately trying to get down to the inside. 
unable to do that as we see two of the Drop Bear Racing Team teammates, the 799 and the 300, now both into the top 10 as we watch your leader, the 544, Frederick Winklebaum. Winkle looking for his first win of his career here in the More Freedom Series for that Geico Dodge from RP Racing. As he works lap number 40 with about 14 laps to go, Mike Check takes over the fastest lap of the race. So Winklebaum is keeping his car out there to the front, the 51 in second, the 07 in third, and the 25 in fourth as the 25 at JTM trying to get a run. Down to the inside of the 07 at Douche Baggins, the 799 of Mike Check might follow along. As we see a shuffle for the second position as the 07 works around the outside. We get a good look at that orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. 07 at Douche Baggins works around the outside of the 51 of AJM. It looks like the 25 is going to follow along. The 799 of Mike Trek throwing his hat into the ring to stay down to the bottom. Here comes the 203 of signs. The 300 of Resemble to the outside. 25 of JTM staying to the outside right now. He's going to whip it down in front of the 51 of AJM as the, zero, the 300 gives a little bit of a nudge there to this teammate and car owner. The 799 of Mike Check as we have a battle for the second position. Heating up here as it's almost three wide between the 51, the 799, and the 203. Oh my goodness, the 799 of Mike Check. A little bit of bump to the back bumper of that 51 of AJM. Pushing AJM down to the bottom. 203 assigns to the top right there. He's going to work to the outside, I think, of that 799 of Mike Check. So signs with a little bit of bump with the 51, kind of a bump and run to the outside of the 799 of Mike Check as a 25 at JTM down to the, working down to the inside of this, almost working down to the inside of that 07. So signs trying to work up there to catch up to his teammate and car and owner, the 07 of Douche Baggins as, again, signs knock on wood, has had an awful year this year, just unlucky for the 203 as he has had good runs this entire season, just bad finishes. As he's trying to work down to the inside of the 25 at JTM, as we see this 329 of Heck of a Duber, who started 32nd here today, now up into the top 10, currently running in the seventh position is that 329 of Heck of a Duber. Duber also not having a fantastic season after leading the points for the most of the season last year. Uh, change in sponsorship. I don't know, kind of giving a little bit of a boost to that 329. So in the last couple of races, he's moved up in the standings to the 19th or 18th position. Uh, helped last week that everybody crashed out below him. As I thought I heard a little bit of a scuffle there. As we do have a little bit of scuffle on the track between uh, the 356, the 29, and the 88. And it looks like the 11 of TC Roberts as well. Maybe the 999 of Deviant. So last few races for that 88 have not been kind as we watch the 544. Bring it back to the stripe. The 07 going to come across in second, I think, with the 203 and the 25. Also, as of note here, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer currently into the top 10, running ninth. Uh, started dead last on the day. So, awesome run for the, 50, the 71 and the 329 here today. So, they started shotgun on the field, worked through a lot of traffic, worked through those cautions, and able to get to the front, as I think, with six laps to go, nobody's pitting? Question mark? Ada Moonbunny slowing down, getting back into line there. Well, it looks like everybody's hanging it out here at the end of this race.
including those that were involved in the accident, as nobody electing for pit road and tires and fuel with just five laps to go here at Chicagoland. This is going to be a race. This is going to be this is this is going to be a race here at the end, as we're going to just have a handful of laps left with your leader, that 544 Frederick Winklevom. Let's go through your current top 10. Oh, wait, well, we should see what brought out that caution first. Well, this caution is going to be brought out between by contact between the 999 and the 88. So let's see what this see what happens here is the 88 tries to make it three wide with the 999 and the 356. <laughs> And he saw the 356 make that late contact with the 11 of TC Roberts. So maybe not too worse for wear for all these drivers. I don't know if I brought up the timing and scoring after the last caution, but uh, it's up now. So let's go through your current top 10. Uh, your leader is the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Second will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Third will be the 203 of Signs. Fourth will be the 25 of JTM. Fifth will be the 300 of Resemble. Sixth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Seventh will be the 51 of AJM. Eighth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Ninth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. So all those drivers involved in that caution still on the track as it looks like it's going to be just a few laps before we go back or just a few laps after we take the green flag. And it's going to be a wild ending to this Chicagoland 80 here today. It also could be a very quiet ending. We don't know yet. Again, Frederick looking for his first win of his career here in the More Freedom Series. DB trying to play spoiler, and as well as that 203 of Signs, who is also looking for his first win of his career here in the More Freedom Series, as Signs is a rookie for Douche Motorsports this year. We're going to see if he has any love for his car owner, the 07 of Douche Baggins, uh, on this restart, or if he just hammered down trying to get that win. Right here at the end of the race, do you think there's going to be any, uh, could there be any team orders? Could it be like, hey, you know, like, let's go with the, the car owner, see if we can pull out this win, or is it going to be, no, every, every driver for himself or herself? And the only three cars we got out of the race right now are the 13 of King of the Aces, the 10 of Scooter, the 660 of Garrett Miller, and the 34 of Super Snake. Queen of Hearts, again, nine laps down after the accident early, early on. Everybody else on the lead lap here today. That beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car has ducked in with about three laps to go. Back to green. We see the 203 of signs trying to make it two wide or three wide with the 544 and the 07 as they head down the back stretch. The 07, the 25, the 329 as Douche Motorsports is absolutely stacking the top 10 right now. 07 on the out, trying to get to the outside of the 544, Frederick Winklevom, the 25 heading to the top. DB down to the bottom right there in front of his teammate, the 203 assigns his other teammate, the 329 of heck of a duber to the outside of both of them. As we watch that 25 of JTM to the back bumper of the 544, Frederick Winklevom dives down to the inside, the 329 to the outside. Here comes the 23 of Fuller Than You as well. White flag out, one lap to go. We see that 544 desperately trying to keep the lead here as the 329 of Heck of a Duber to the outside with help by the 23 of Fuller Than You. Frederick comes up with the block. Duber down to the inside. 
The 23 of Fuller than you trying to make a run right now. Looks like it's going to be, it might be Frederick's day here as we head towards the front stretch down to the stripe. The 329 down with the block is the, the 544, your winner here today. First win of his career, the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Well, that was an exciting ending, folks, as the 544 is able to block and just stay out there to the lead. Oh, we got some crazy shenanigans happening here after the race. Well, let's go through your finishing top 10. As we see the 11 of TC Roberts pulling out there, uh, he's going to finish. He's finishing this race. Uh, your winner today is the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Second will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Third will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Fourth will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Fifth will be the 25 of JTM. Sixth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Seventh will be the 777 of Seabass. Eighth will be the 203 of Signs. Ninth will be the 300 of Resemble. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 96 of Nico. So amazing end to this race after that late race caution. Let's next week. Hey, more excitement next week as we head to uh, Milwaukee for the Milwaukee 80. I believe that is the Milwaukee Mile. So we're heading up there for the Milwaukee 80. And we're in a stretch right now through the Midwest as Milwaukee, Indy, Kentucky, et cetera, are coming up. Uh, let's take a look at your point standings as a late race tire issue took the 49 of Jetman, put him down in 27th finishing position. So we're going to see what the point standings look like right now. Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings. It's a huge day for Douche Motorsports. Uh, so you're seeing those team and chassis standings. What a wild end to this race here at Chicagoland. Another fantastic one here in the More Freedom Series. Frederick Winklevom, second year on the tour and first win of his career I am sure there is going to be lots of sign cleaning and partying tonight down in the RP racing. And I know Harvey Jones probably has some stuff that they can party with. So that's going to do it here for Chicagoland. Again, congratulations to the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. He is your winner. And until next week at Milwaukee, take care.